Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. A1 milk versus A2 milk. Do we even know what that means? Do we know what that even is? We have got a brand new bull on this place that is an A2 A2. I'm gonna explain to you what that means in just a second, but when we turn him out, he was a new kid on the block and everybody had to have a say in how he was. And as you see here, even the cow wasn't about to take any of his shenanigans, which believe you me, he had some up his sleeve, but the big old steers, they just said nobody was afraid of his horns. I, I was a little afraid for my milk cow. She just head butted him and came right on in. The steers put him more in his place. I mean, I've never been so proud of a couple of steers in my life. They, they put him right in his place, but here's the deal. He does not belong to us, but he was a little too much for the pasture the fencing that my friends had and beings that I need a bull out here, they were willing to let me bring him on over. They actually brought him over. They, they backed in and we unloaded him. This bull, as you can see, is getting along great now with these. They're letting him eat. He's letting them eat. Everybody gets along good. The boys come out here after I had broke open this and got some silage out and they made a frame right here, very sturdy. And it's like an igloo with an entrance. They can just go right in, get their silage. It don't matter if it's raining, snowing. I'm telling you, I like what my boys do. Pretty smart, pretty smart. So let's get into this video about A1 and A2. A2, A2 is premium. And what that is, they discovered that people were getting lactose intolerant, seemingly from A1 milk. A1 has one little small difference in the amino acid creates a complete different protein digestibility and they're discovering that that is causing problems now obviously not everybody has a problem with it but food allergies are going up and milk is one of them so what they discovered was the old old varieties like zebus and all these old kinds over in africa and india these old kinds that just don't produce tons of milk, they're all A2, A2. And so that, that milk is worth a lot more. Over here, we got these Holsteins that are mostly A1, A1. Jerseys are about 60% A2. Ours, we had it tested, it's A1, A2, which means she carries the A2 gene, but she's producing A1 milk. So with that gene, we're hoping this A2 bull will give us a calf that will produce A2 milk. We're pretty excited about that. Now, the one you see just with the small horns on the other side of the bull, we have not had her tested. There's a possibility that she might be A2. We're not sure yet. Regardless, this A2, A2 bull is going to breed our milk cow and the milk cow's heifer. Here's his line. He is a quarter Jersey, a quarter Guernsey, and a half Zebu. That's why he's a little bit on the small side. He's a little bit on the ornery side, but what bull isn't? But he's fitting in good here. We're not sure how long we can have him here, but as of right now, seems like he's gonna work out. So we're looking forward to, in the future, giving you some updates on what his calves look like. I think he's kind of pretty with the brindle striping. He's got some real nice attributes I like. He's not too big. Of course, if we was raising beef, that's not what we want, but obviously we don't have him for beef. He's here for milk purposes only. So if you are in a situation like this and you have a Jersey cow and, you're, and you would like to get some A2, A2 going, you might want to look into something with a little Zebu bloodline or something like that that's got the A2 bloodline. So we're going to get on out of here. That's all we've got for you today. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.